Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, too? Okay, get back another video. Yeah, I'm due for this Friday month, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna do a type of story behind on um, death of a teenager man, uh, Timothy Crawford, known as and TJ, how uh, how he was shot and killed the Wednesday, man, you know, Montgomery. So, uh, and if y'all talk about, I say his life and his death, so, you know, you know I seen, I seen the white was killed in Montgomery. So I don't know. I feel like his family felt more sad to where he gone, man. To where he was found dead, shot to death, man, by somebody, man. But um, okay, Timothy uh, Crawford, no, as a TJ, you know, he was a you know uh you know a student going to Crawford High School in, in Montgomery. So he's a junior at um, I said Crawford High School, you know how how I do got plans to be um a barber. So I read somewhere that he got plans to be a barber when he was like you know trying to finish school and you know, how he played. Then basketball and football, man, how how he was supposed to be, you know, a type of like an athlete, man. And but I read somewhere that I think his his um life, you know, it's about, you know, going to school, you know. I said focus on I say, you know, his own passion, man, to be a uh, athlete in a barber so and um and so I so I um but I feel like that his life became Better in life to where that dude, you know, want to be something in life, man, to where his, his dreams, you know, uh, um, his dreams, I say, I say, will be a barber and how I think he got a lot of, you know, potential. But, um, so it wasn't where they, his death comes a year after, um, uh, his, his own thing, his stepbrother had died, you know, when Shane killed Montgomery, you know, as, um, Daphne Vickers Jr., when Shane killed. So I think his, his stepbrother was Shane killed right after he got killed. But I feel like they, you know, the doves is more sad to my government to where I think the family felt like that. I think mama did type of like um news about what happened, you know, to their son. But I feel like they, you know, their son was shot and killed, man. Um I go back around Wednesday, you know, Daphne, um, I mean um Timothy was shot and killed, man. Um off of um Redford Road, Nilvon Road, he was killed. Um, that around four, four p.m. Yeah, I did everybody yesterday to where they he was like you know which was um outside somewhere and how he was trying to kill me by somebody man but and so I think that Timothy Crawford man I guess it was like you know was gunned down man by an evil cold bloody dude man or you know they so they had like you know I think the family trying to spend I guess uh, I guess uh some props for hours trying to process. What happened to the son? But they say they um. So I think the mama is trying to say that the son was a good son, you know, humble and special, a uh, loving child, man. But I feel like they you know why would somebody would trying to kill this this seventeen year old boy for me? I just couldn't like believe it, man. Things I don't understand why we would kill this seventeen year old boy, you know, and he got future hell of it, man. But and so I feel like you know Montgomery do got some cold blooded killers out here, man. You know. They want to shoot and kill innocent people out here, man. Because, you know, I think about how, you know, Montgomery, you know, it's kind of, you know, all the small city to where, you know, it be a lot of crimes and dumb going on in the city, man. But I feel like, you know, this 17 year old boy didn't survive to make it to see 18, 19, 20, man. But so I feel like they, you know, why would this dude, you know, or I say anybody would shoot and kill this 17 year old boy, man. But I feel like that people out here in the woods, you know, cold, bloody, evil, cow people out here, man. So I feel like this. The family felt more more hard. Um, I mean, more sad to where they lost their son, man. And but I feel like they you know Montgomery do got a crime problem here, man. But I just you know kind of know that they must you know on uh, city do got a crime problem. But you know it do stem from basically over money, man. Over money, over uh, you know anything it be how people who get you know on how they are very much more even nowadays. You know it's about over them trying to kill somebody, man. But I feel like you know Montgomery do. Got some people out here that all been wicked and they hate wicked people out here. You know, want to take people's lives, man. But I do feel like that this 17 year old, you know, didn't have a chance to like make it, man, to see his potential, man. But so I do feel like that, you know, I think Montgomery, you know, my city got a lot of, you know, a lot of issues going on with the crime. But I didn't hear the crime to be out of, you know, out of control. You know, how they got a lot of, um, you know, people out here who very much more, you know, uh, I think of the felons, you know, like some felons, they be 
uh, I think are uh, going to jail and they get out of jail and they do a crime. But I feel like, you know, these crimes, you know, Montgomery could be like senseless. You know, they end up getting killed, man, by these people out here, man. But so I feel like, you know, that happens like uh, I said, like, in other cities. But I think that, like, oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Timothy Crawford, you know, couldn't survive, man. But he, you know, had died due to unfortunate event, man, to when he died, got killed, man. But I feel like that people, you know, in my city, you know, uh, probably somewhere else experiencing the same tragedy, you know, seeing somebody get killed, man. But I do feel like that the family, you know, I don't know if the family, you know, is going to get justice against for their son. You know, the one got killed the Wednesday and how they can see justice. And, and, uh, and you know, uh, I say on how they get, you know, justice, you know, I say, you know, for their son. And buff, uh, but I do feel confident that, you know, they might catch the suspect. We shot the sexy young boy, man, and how the boy, you know, didn't make it, man. How I, um, so I feel like, you know, it's kind of sad to where, you know, this, you know, the loved one is fighting, crying over, the son being gone, man. But I want to wish you, so I feel like, you know, I wouldn't, you know, you know wish this on, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I would like, you know, I don't know, I would not wish this on nobody, man, you know, to see their family, um, Getting killed like that, man. But I feel like that, you know, this is a thing where you know, uh, that crime can really can't happen. Like, crime can't really can happen in places like, like Montgomery, you know, other places that could be, you know, got a lot of poverty, man. But I feel like that, you know, this. Uh, and but I feel like Timothy, um, Crawford, you know, legacy will live on, man. But I feel like that his life got cut short, man. Due to some violence going on in the city, man, how I think Montgomery do got a lot of, you know, crime problem here, man. Like, violence can really can't happen to a family, man. But, like, things can really can't happen to a family to where, you know, they might lose someone to the gun violence going on. How gun violence can, I say, become a problem, man. A problem that can be, not, you know, so sad with us. Homicide victim speaks out 24 hours after the shooting. 17-year-old TJ Crawford was gunned down on Rexford Road near Vaughn Road, and police are still searching for a suspect and a motive. WSFA 12 News reporter Monet Stevens has more from the family in this 12 News exclusive. As Montgomery police continue to find the person responsible for killing 17-year-old TJ Crawford, a family is left devastated. This is day one. Lorinda Jackson recalls getting the heartbreaking phone call about her son Wednesday evening. I made it to the scene, and when I got to the scene, they were um, redirecting me behind the ambulance. A natural athlete and an inspiring barber, the Carver High School student is described as someone who would have gone far in life. My son's a really good kid. He's a really humble, respectful, loving child. TJ's death comes a year after the shooting death of DeAnthony Vickers Jr. The two were stepbrothers. Thelma and Louise <laughs> of two peas in a pod. DJ and TJ played football together and I used to coach them. So, all right, both of them was great kids. As this family bears twice the grief, they have a simple message to the person responsible for their loved one's death. May God have mercy on your soul. Seeking justice and demanding solutions to senseless gun violence. And Rosanna, if you can recall, we've talked to this family a year ago after DeAnthony Vickers Jr. was killed, and that suspect for that shooting has been denied bond and is awaiting his trial date.